Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Camry. We're talking about this generation right here from year 2015, 16 and 17. If you have one of those, you need to find where the SRS module, guys. This is the restraint system module is located. Practically, in other words, this is the airbag module computer. We'll explain which diffuses you need to check. But consider this entertaining video only. This is not a how-to video. Why? Because you have to be qualified and certified to work on airbag systems. Otherwise, airbags can injure you or even kill you. So consider this uh, not a how-to video. This is an entertaining video only. Quick reminder for any of you that are qualified to work on airbag systems. Uh, in most cases, you need to disconnect the car battery for at least one hour before removing fuses or working on airbag modules, components, anything like that. That. that way you can minimize the chance for something terrible to happen. Number two, it's very important on these new vehicles which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it the wrong way, you can burn modules, computers that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. We have a special video on the channel that explains which battery uh, terminal to disconnect and reconnect first. Also, we will explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, engines, transmission, we show you how to do practically almost anything guys. We even do body works. We have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, on Toyota Camry guys, Camry, if you have that generation, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay, why we do all that. Due to the fact that if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where your fuel pump fuse is located because your car cannot start, you can just watch that video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, that relay, you're back on the road and you're back in business, guys, because otherwise, if you don't have your service manual, uh, it could be really complicated. Sometimes it's hard to find. There is uh, abbreviations that most people do not know, so we try to make it really convenient for you. Another thing, guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays, okay, you see that you have all these different kinds of fuses, guys, okay? You have different kinds of relays. You have these special fuses, by the way, that look like this one here check this thing out we will put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time so let's start on it now so the SRS module fuse guys where you can expect to find it we will demonstrate on this 2017 Toyota Camry you guys have two different fuse boxes we will be working in both of them first one is on the driver's side go ahead and open the driver door look and above the brake paddle, under the dash, all the way upside down in the left corner, you will see one white cover there. Go ahead, guys, and open it. Once you do that underneath it, you will find a fuse box layout that will look just like this one right here. But before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out here guys we'll need to check one fuse and this is fuse that's 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 fuse number 31 10m fuse in our case next we need to open the hood facing the car facing the engine on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover go ahead open it you will see more fuses and the fuse that we need to check here guys okay it's another 10 m fuse and this specifically it will be fuse 20 uh, excuse me 37 right here a 10 m fuse fuse number 37 hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time